will start the session by calling uh, the chairs of the session, Professor Mukhtar Al Hashimi and Dr. Rashida Abusin. Our next speaker is Dr. Nahla Khalifa, who will be giving us a talk titled The Nutritional Status of Inpatient Drug Addicts and the Impact of Medical Nutrition Therapy Intervention on Recovery. Dr. Nahla, please take the floor. <laughs> okay, Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. Hello, everybody. Um, very happy to be here with you today. And uh, thanks, Prof. Alam, for the kind invitation. And thanks, uh, Ahli University, for excellent organization. Uh, my title is uh, Nutritional Status of Inpatient Drug Addicts and the Impact of Medical Nutrition Therapy Intervention or Recovery. Thank you. Uh, I will go through the aim of this study and methodology we used in this presentation and the studies we will discuss uh, here and finally conclusion and recommendation. The aim of this study is to overview the literature about the nutritional status of drug addict and the effect of medical nutrition therapy intervention and nutrition education uh, on addiction recovery. Also, we want to emphasize the role of dietitian and diet on, uh, as a team member in a process of addict recovery. The methodology we used in this, it is, it is an overview or literature review. So we searching library database. Summary, we summarize the conceptual and empirically published literature on drug addict and nutrition intervention. The strategy we used, we use keywords in searching like uh, addiction, nutrition, therapy, recovery, detoxification, intervention, and dietitian. The selected articles are Population Review and Intervention of Nutrition or Medical Nutrition Therapy in Addiction. The evaluation of the evidence is done through comprehensive review of each article by more than one person. Uh, our food, we get benefit from food through the nutrients it contains. There is two types of nutrients in food. We have micronutrients, these micromolecules. We need it in a small amount, and it is usually minerals and vitamins. Also, we have the, macro, the macronutrients, which is macromolecules. We need it in a large amount, which is carbohydrate, protein, and fat. Usually, the protein is two types. We have complete and incomplete protein. The complete protein is contain all the essential amino acids, and incomplete protein contain or missed one or, or two than essential amino acid. Also, we have two types of fat. We call it saturated fat, which is unhealthy fat, and insaturated and saturated fat, which is the healthy one. Also, we have simple carbohydrate, which is sugar, and complex carbohydrate, which is polysaccharides, and it contains fiber, which is needed for addict people. The medical nutrition therapy is nutritional diagnostic therapy and counseling services for the purpose of managing many chronic diseases like addiction. MNT is done through what we call nutrition care process in clinical setting. The largest organization regarding the nutrition and dietetics, it is the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And due to many subspecialties, we have what we call dietetic practice group. As you know, drug addiction is a complex lifestyle disorder, which becomes socially, economically worldwide, and it affects all the human society. Usually, it is become a trend between adolescents who become less productive. Chronic diseases described by drug demanding all the time and obsessive to heart to control use in spite of unsafe consequences, which the patient knows that it is uh, very difficult for him to live. There is many complications related to addiction. All the patients with Addiction, they have what we call hypoglycemia or low level of glucose in their body. 
the, uh, the alcohol or drug addiction affects the liver and makes the people who are addicts to have less glucose in their body. Also, there is what we call adrenal fatigue because the bad eating habit and the great level of refined sugar in alcohol make a burden on the adrenal cortex, which make them feel they are uh, feel fatigue. Also, we have many sensitivities and allergies occur. For example, alcohol itself, it, called, it, it have ethanol, which cause many allergies to the patient. Sometimes, even the ingredient from which the alcohol is made, like grape, it makes some sensitivity to the patient. There are many digestive disturbances occur with all type of addiction. This is like indigestion, poor appetite, fasting and skipping meal, diarrhea, and constipation. Alcohol, it affects the inner lining of the, of the intestine, which affects the absorption of the nutrients, and this affects the mood, the mood of the brain. Also, alcohol drinkers feel all the time they are, have satiety or full, but unfortunately they have high calorie but deficiency in many uh, nutrients. Nutritional deficiencies for all addiction include carbohydrate deficiency, protein deficiency, and fat deficiency. Carbohydrate deficiency, unfortunately, the addict people, they consume all types of simple carbohydrate, which is bad, and they are deficient in complex carbohydrate, which contain fiber and the essential minerals and vitamins. Also, Protein deficiency occur, and this is very important because all the chemical that the brain needs, it is protein. Fat deficiency, there is deficiency in the most essential fatty acid, like omega-3 fatty acid, omega-6 and omega-3, and these two omega, they are very important for building the prostaglandins, the prostaglandins which is important for addiction recovery. Also, all the addict people, either it is alcohol, drug, they have deficiency in many minerals and vitamins. For example, all addicts have deficiency in zinc because they are consumption of caffeine, sugar, alcohol. This make unbalanced in zinc. Zinc adding healthy immune system. So we found that all the addict people have problem with their immune system. Also, there is deficiency in calcium and magnesium, and these are very important in muscular and nervous system problem. So we found that many times that all the addict people feel that they have problem or weakness or feel fatigue. Iron is very important because especially alcohol drinkers have problem that their liver is affected and they have anemia, and also they have deficiency in omega-3, which uh, 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 assist in absorption of iron. Potassium is very important also. We found that all the addict people have problems or deficiency in potassium. Also, the most important vitamins that uh, needed for addict people is the B complex. For example, niacin and thiamine, they have deficiency, and they are very important to control the psychological problems that they have. Also, tryptophan needed from niacin, which is converted to serotonin to, con to control the emotion the addict people have. Vitamin C, as you know, it is very strong antioxidant. And of course, there is a lot of free radicals that found in all addict people. And unfortunately, they have no any chance to have vitamin C because of the uh, high caffeine or high alcohol they take usually. Very important, we notice that many patients or addict patients, they did not know anything about nutrition. They only think about that they have to take medication or psychological treatment. So many studies found that nutrition counseling and education help in reduce or help in management of addiction in many ways. Opiate addicts showed that 
Unhealthy eating behavior due to lack of nutritional knowledge and food preparation skills. To conclude this, we have to say that regarding the carbohydrate health problems, as we know, all the patients have hypoglycemia and adrenal fatigue, it is very easy to substitute the simple carbohydrate with the complex carbohydrate, which contain high fiber and high uh, minerals and vitamins. Also, regarding the protein health problems, usually the animal source protein contain all the essential amino acid which is needed in case of addiction. Fat health, as we mentioned that we have two types of fat, the healthy and unhealthy fat. Unfortunately, we found that in many hospitals, there is diet for everyone. There is no personalized or individualized diet for the addict people. They took all of them the same diet. Uh, Doctora, we have only one minute. Yeah, I'm about to conclusion. <laughs> It's okay. So, also vitamins and minerals, as we mentioned, that we can include it in their diet. Minerals health problems that we can also add it to their uh, food. Very important to have a lot of water because they need to make washing and detoxification of their body. And also many uh, studies said that they have to do physical exercise. Finally, our recommendation is addiction, it's like any chronic disease could be managed successfully by professional complementary teamwork. Also, medical nutrition therapy is a significant at all stages of addiction, and it must be go in parallel with other treatment. Nutrition education and physical activity is very important in addiction recovery program for improving the treatment outcomes. Thank em you. Employment dietitians, they are to have any setting or any clinics, they have to have dietitian, must be with the, with the team. Finally, Okay. Good health care is always a team effort, particularly for addiction, as every team member provides special care different from the other. And this is our differences, and thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, for the first presentation, I like it, but I feel at the same time it's too broad in terms of the scope. Uh, the inclusion and exclusion criteria was not mentioned, especially that addicted people might suffer from chronic diseases, from lifestyle disturbances, uh, from comorbidities. So in terms of your exclusion and inclusion criteria, how it was? Um, our study is it's not, uh, it's not case study, it is literature review, it is overview. So we have no exclusion or inclusion criteria. We do only literature I mean review. exclusion and exclusion criteria for the studies themselves. Sorry? For the studies themselves, yeah. how you exclude yeah. them and include them? Yeah, we took all the, the uh, medical nutrition therapy okay, only, and the outcomes of these uh, measurements only in MNT only, medical nutrition therapy for, for the patient. We exclude the physical activity, we exclude the uh, psychological treatment, we exclude the medical treatment. We concentrate only on the role of the dietitian in managing, or medical nutrition therapy in managing addiction. I answered your question? It's still not clear because each study might have a specific sample. Each sample might have specific characteristics. Yeah. So how you exclude them in terms of each sample of each study? Yeah, we, we, took, we, 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 we took all the samples, okay, by only measurements of the nutritional status assessment only. We took all, all the studies, concentrated only the nutritional status assessment of the addict people. And now I would like to I would like to ask Professor Abdullah Hawaj to please join the stage with Professor Alam Ahmed to give certificates of appreciation to um, our speakers. Dr. Nahla Khalifa.